Yep, loving connecting with Cami um, because we are finding out that we share a very similar flavor profile when it comes to our breakfast. We were asking you guys what your favorite breakfast ideas are. We've had all manner of great, great ideas coming through. This for me, I think is gonna stand out. Healthy bodies mean healthy minds and it all starts with quality ingredients. How often do we say that on this show? And our protein powered new laid free-range Mexican breakfast bowl. How good does that sound? It's a perfect example. It is jam-packed with avocado, beans, and of course, new laid free-range eggs. The perfect balance of tasty and nutritious. You are like a kid before Christmas this morning. You've been bouncing around this kitchen for the last yeah. 20 minutes. Kemi, I think you and I share our same enthusiasm uh, for eggy, eggy, eggy. <laughs> Can't you see? Sometimes your love just hypnotize me. I, I love, that's how much I love eggs. My four-year-old and I sing that every morning. But this way of doing an egg breakfast, I mean, this sparks so many ideas. You could take this in a million different directions. So walk us through what we're gonna be creating this morning. Okay, so I'm just as excited as you about this because honestly, like I can't wait to build these flavors. It's gonna be so delicious. Mm. And then topping it off with those free range eggs is gonna be just the cherry the on top. The win, the win. So we're gonna start off by uh, frying some chorizo. So we're gonna slowly render the fat off the chorizo. And what you wanna do is you wanna get it in a cold pan. Okay. Because a cold pan will allow all that fat to render out. You get that smoky paprika kind of flavor from that. It's all about that. the flavor. And I suppose oh, in the yes. treat, so you've got quite a lot of fat. So I think, have you got the right pan Ooh, heat on before you, you <laughs> cook your be sleeve? That's going to um, because and that's that's the joy here is you've got all of those beautiful prepared flavors there. The fat is what carries that. When you say render the fat, that's, that's yes. gonna pull the flavor out into that's the dish. It's gonna be absolutely amazing. And once that fat is rendered out, then you can add the other flavors. So you can add the onions, the garlic, the spices, and get that all married together because you want those flavors to be released, you know. Um, and you said something important there. You said build the flavors. Is that how you approach uh, your cooking? Oh yes. <laughs> For sure, because you need to add those flavors, you need to elevate flavor by building things and by allowing them to render themselves out. Because at the end of the day, ingredients on their own, they may be, let's call it a bit one dimensional. You mm. want to add flavor, you want to build it all up so that you know, you can end up with something delicious. Cause I mean, what's the point of just eating? Completely, <laughs> I want to eat girl, liquor. Completely. <laughs> um, so yeah, and add... for often when it comes to healthy, we get caught up yes. in eating just for the nutritional value. But, but yes. you, you want it to be sustainable, which means that you want it to taste good so you keep coming back for more. Absolutely right. Okay, and so now what's going on there? to build on this flavor that we're speaking about, I'm adding some garlic and some onion to the pan. We want to just to sweat down. I mean, that aroma already is so mm. good. And as they sweat down and become a bit translucent, I even like to add salt at this stage because salt just helps to pull the flavor out even more. It's an activator, so, yeah. I think often often people mistake salt as being just there for saltiness. Exactly. You know, and I know it sounds silly, but it's yes. it's it, it's what allows other flavors to come Absolutely. out. Absolutely, and you want that to happen. And also, salt helps to pull moisture out. So the onion, the moisture, yeah. and the onions, the garlic, and then it just gets to fry and brown a little bit quicker, which is exactly what I want. And then what you'll also do at this stage is, once the onions and the garlic get some um, nice and translucent, we're gonna add some spices. Mm. And I mean, spices are also something that you want to fry off because, I mean, raw spice, and no joy in the raw spice. Um, yeah, <laughs> you and, want to release that flavor. And, and you yeah. cook the, the flavor out. I mean, you don't add it yes. at the end, you add it at the beginning. Exactly, know? exactly right. And you know, with the, with the Mexican bowl that we're doing today, um, that's going to be topped with those eggs, it's going to be so good because we're building that smoky paprika, mm -hmm. Mexican kind of flavor profile, and that's right up my alley. Awesome. And what's so... What's so amazing for me about this recipe is it's so versatile. Because once we've got that Mexican flavor base, we can actually build on it and we can maybe even freeze portions of it for meal prep. You I was know, gonna say, look, I love the fact that your, your, your new laid are, are literally harvested, like they're collected every single day. So you know yes. you're getting the freshness. So you do, you have you keep a little bit of this yes. aside every day and then you just fry yourself a brand new egg every for morning sure. and add it to it. I mean, you could turn this into a burrito. Even like oh. um, you know, what you were saying earlier, like shook shooker vibes. Yes, right? yes. Now I'm adding the beans to that and then I'm gonna add the tomato sauce and just start building that flavor. Graham, do you want to start mm. with our avo guacamole I'm there? I'm going to do that right now Thanks so we don't... So I know we've got about two minutes to get the, okay. the rest of this recipe done. And for me, what's also amazing about adding eggs to this 
is it just complements it so nicely and makes a well-rounded meal because now um, you, we've got this delicious base but we also want to add some nutrition by means mm. of the eggs and what's interesting about eggs that I didn't know before doing this is that they've got 13 essential minerals and wow. um, vitamins which is really a good point to know. All right, so just talk us through, we've got about 30 seconds to go. Oh. So you want to talk us through the remainder of what we would do to put together our beautiful Mexican Okay, so we're going to add bowl. the lemon juice and the parsley to this and just get that going. You almost want to do cook for 15 minutes before okay. adding the lemon juice and parsley. And then what you want to do is fry the eggs. So I'm going to take some here. And you can do these anyway. So you can do a sunny side up egg, or you can do a. Oh, you've got to have the yolk. I'm sorry. Anyone who has a hard <laughs> egg, get out of my kitchen, man. Yes. Get out of my kitchen. Because the, the mixture for me of the avo flavor with the egg yolk, that is one of life's great joys. Absolutely. It really is lovely. And also, you can even do them poached. And that's the nice thing about these eggs is that you can do it in so many ways. We can poach them. We can fry them to add that good flavor to it. We can literally do anything. We can even, like you said, crack them on top, pop in the oven. It's just a really versatile dish. Oh, it's beautiful. Well, we put the, the finishing touches on this amazing dish and we're going to, you can see our finished product there. We're going to add a little bit of guacamole to that. I'm going to hand that over to oh. you. You can find this recipe at expressoshow.com. I'm going to tell you one thing. Breakfast is on the me egg. this morning. Cammy, you're an absolute legend. Absolutely beautiful Thank flavors. you so much, yeah. Graham. I'm, I'm in fun. awe of this breakfast. Mm. How good does that look? Oh.